Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Dragons, and right now there are two hours and three minutes before the 24 hour Merge 5 event. So, here in this video, we're going to learn a new way on how to bubble. So, thanks to Marcus V in the Discord chat channel, well, I discovered a new technique on how to bubble. So, here, let's check this out. We're going to have our dragons harvest this real quick. So, I'm going to show an example and then try to explain it. What you need. What you need are three two by two items like the golden apple of the cosmos. So it's a mergeable item that takes up four spaces. So here I'm going to pretend to merge these. In the meantime, our dragons are going to fill up the leftover holes. Before this, everything on my camp was totally filled up. So I couldn't have any more items left on my camp. Now, when your camp is full, that means there's only two spots left. So right now, I have got my two spots left, and what I'm gonna do is bubble the Vermilion Dragon Tree and also the Nice Dragon Tree. It's the two items on the right hand side of the Golden Apple I'm holding. So let's do it, bang. So exactly like I was hoping for, I bubbled the Nice Dragon Tree and the Vermilion Dragon Tree. Okay, let's try this again. So here, um, you know, there's no space left, just what we're looking for, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to merge those golden apples again. Here, I want my dragons to harvest. Um, Marcus V, he does it with the Misty Mountains. He uses the Misty Mountains uh, to create rain uh, in order to fill up the four spaces. Because otherwise, you could wait a long time while uh, you're waiting for your dragons to put down the items. So here, for example, I'm going to go merge the Cosmos app apples and now my dragons are filling in the empty spaces that we had there otherwise the water puddles those will eventually sprout grass tufts um, whatever item item you use as long as it eventually fills up the spaces so here we're going to go here i'm not really working on my dragon trees anymore since we got the dragon tree wonder not too long ago so i'm going to try to bubble those two young dragon trees there done perfect so here we've got those young dragon trees perfectly bubbled. I'm loving this for sure. Um, let's see, what can we bubble next? Maybe some stone in preparation for the event. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take that golden apple of the cosmos, let my dragon set down some more bricks so that my map is completely full again. Awesome, beautiful. And here we're gonna take that apple, drop it right there, and of course, Two stone bubbled at once. Now this is a very advanced technique on how to bubble, but it is amazing. If ever you wanna know more about this technique, you can always check out the Discord channel. The link is in the description of the video below. Um, you know, in that channel, that's where I was lucky enough to learn this technique. Marcus V, he shared this technique uh, about a week or so ago. So you can always scroll back up the Discord chat if you want to get his step-by-step -step process of how he uses this technique to bubble items. It's definitely amazing, and I really appreciate that Marcus V uh, shared this with everybody. So thank you so much, dude. Really much appreciated. And here, I'm pretending to, bu uh, uh, pretending to merge those golden apple of the cosmos again. And now, the camp is full. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, and we're going to bubble those a uh, vermilion dragon tree and the dragon tree sapling. So here, no more space left. Oh, whoops a daisies. Oh yeah, no, it worked perfect. So here we've got this bubbled. Rock on. So I'm gonna move those aside and that's great. You know, another cool thing we can do with this bubbling technique is, so here, my dragons, I wanna make sure they're all full of items to drop so that um, we can do this ASAP. So here, we see our dragons, they're already going to fill up the empty hole that we created by pretending to merge the golden apples. I'm just holding the big apple, the 2x2 two two mergeable item, on top of the other two, so it looks like it's going to merge, creating more space on the map. But then, I'm not going to merge it. And what I'm going to do this time is, I'm actually going to bubble the Phobos chest. Yeah! So here we've got a bunch of these really good chests bubbled in preparation for this event. Now the event starts in less than two hours, so we don't have much time to prepare. But Marcus's technique is amazing and definitely worth testing out if ever you're looking to bubble some things. 
Now I've got a bunch of techniques on how to bubble. Here, I'm gonna show this technique again. And like I said, if you want it written out, Marcus, he wrote it out amazingly, the perfect description, the perfectest description you could ever have in the Discord channel. So make sure to check it out. It's definitely worth it. If you wanna learn some new tricks on bubbling, uh, this is the new technique that you gotta learn for sure. So here we're gonna drop that. Perfect, just bubbled those Phobos chests. So here we've got those and we're gonna be able to make a bunch of space. So let's see, earlier somebody was asking me how I bubbled my jeweled eggs. I have a video on how to bubble jeweled eggs, but real quick, just to share with everybody. So here, okay, I shouldn't have made those merges. I went a little too quick. I'm gonna harvest a bunch more stone and I wanna make sure my map is as full as possible. So how to see if your map is full? Well, you only have two spots left. And a way to confirm this is when your dragon has an item, you click on your dragon and then if you have no space left, the item, just like we just saw here with the duck, the item is gonna be bubbled. So now I have confirmed there's no space left on my camp at all. So I'm gonna tap my daily treasure chest. Oh yeah, and look at that. So now my daily treasure chest is bubbled, which is perfect, as are my jeweled eggs. So here we've got this bubbled, and I'm just gonna keep those uh, over here. And when I need those, I am gonna unbubble them. So right now I've been collecting my jeweled eggs on account of my Royal Egg Bank was empty since in the rewards video, um, of the last, in the video of the last 30 minutes of the, uh, the Toys Galore event, I, I got the Royal Egg Bank. So here I'm filling it back, back up again. I've got an empty space and that's perfect. I'm not worried about that at all. You know, I'm going to leave it. I'll probably get, be getting jeweled eggs again soon. So I'm just going to leave it empty and it'll fill up on its own. No rush. Here, let's see, we can make a couple more merges, maybe bubble some more items. Um, if ever you're having trouble bubbling the items that you want, let me give a quick example. Um, here, we're going to go with, I want to bubble these ogre stone monolith. Well, I have to have them both on the right hand side of where I'm going to drop the items. So I'm going to drop my uh, golden apple in these four areas right here. So let's check this out. Here, we're gonna make sure our dragons have a bunch of stuff to put down super quick. So I'm gonna get my dragons harvesting on Stonehenge. I'm gonna grab my golden apple. Uh, let's move it over here, that'll be easier. Okay, so here we're gonna pretend to merge those. Our dragons are gonna fill up all those empty spaces. Shouldn't take too long. And this is actually a lot quicker than going back and forth from your world map and bubbling one by one items. I'm loving this technique doesn't matter what the item is once you filled up the space it bubbles it so here we're out of space there's only two spaces left on the map and I've got the golden apple right there over the Phobos chest as well as the ogre stone monolith and it's gonna bubble the two items on the right hand side so if everything goes according to plan it should be the ogre stone monolith yas queen and that way this stone it's not in my way and as soon as I need it I'm gonna be able to unbubble it and crush it, fill up my stone. Uh, I love this technique. So thanks again, Marcus V, for sharing this amazing bubbling technique here. Um, if you're looking for other techniques for this Merge 5 event, you know, uh, you can uh, merge your dragon eggs, but if you have any other higher merges, don't merge them just yet. Save as many merges as you can for the upcoming 24 hour Merge 5 event. So like here, I've got my Cosmos Dragon Whelps. Well, I'm not gonna merge those just yet. They're not taking any space on my camp and uh, they're gonna give me some extra points when the event comes around. So here, I'm gonna try to get my camp ready as much as possible. I'm super stoked about this 24 hour, the first ever 24 hour Merge Dragons event. It's gonna be a blast. And I'm gonna try to bubble as many items as you can. So maybe you're wondering, does this technique work with Stonehenge? Well, it doesn't because it's not a mergeable item. So that won't work. Um, if ever you have a, you know, um, mm -hmm. it has to be a item that's at least two by one to do this technique. Let's see if we can't get a lower level. 
Hmm. I don't have any mergeable items right now. Let's see. Maybe. Um. Okay, so it'd have to be like, for example, the level 7 uh, coin vault. Here, the level 7 coin vault, that gigantic coin vault. That coin vault, it's a 2 by one item. Okay, so you'd be able to bubble one item. And it has to be a big item that's mergeable in order to do this technique. So it really, the easiest thing is the golden apple of the cosmos here. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to have my dragons harvest some more stone. Make sure they're ready to fill in these spots. I'm going to take my golden apple, golden apple of the cosmos. Super easy here. You can also, uh, you know, get a hill if you don't want your dragons to be harvesting items. The hills will make it rain. And then you can harvest... Uh, items like that yeah so as soon as the rain fills in the spots you go ahead and drop your item near the items you want to merge so here let's say um i want to merge i don't know we're gonna merge uh these uh, we can merge the dragon tree leaves you know there I'm not working on my dragon trees anymore, so that'll keep it out of the way. I don't want to trash them either, though. So this is going to help me um, save items that I don't need right away, but that I don't want to trash, you know? So, yes, it's going to make a ton of bubbles. This place is going to be a mess. But it's a pretty awesome mess, for sure. Yeah. So here, I'm just waiting for all my dragons to fill up the areas. Once the map is full, we're going to go ahead and bubble some more items. Let's bubble the noble chest and the stone right there. Rock on. So that's bubbled there. So that's looking amazing. Here we can do it again. Pretend to bubble those giant apples. Our dragons are going to go fill in those spaces. So here, this is a technique that allows me to bubble a bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to be careful to stay organized because you know me, I can get unorganized very quickly so here my map is full and we're going to drop that stone right there so we just bubbled some more stone items let's say i want to bubble those two ogre, ogre stone monolith those are the highest level of stone bricks possible 25 stone bricks total um here i'm going to do this i'm going to take this and i'm going to let my dragons fill on those spots i just like to remind everybody that the support team of Merge Dragons doesn't recommend bubbling. So, um, you know, always do this at your own risk. I've never had any problems with bubbling, but um, it could be a problem that could occur. You know, some people with the den that came out recently, they had items they lost behind the den. Personally, I've never had any problems, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, if ever you don't want to risk any chance of losing an item, don't bubble it just in case. But, you know, I like to live on the dangerous side. So I'm going to keep on bubbling items and get ready for this amazing Merge 5 event. I'll see you at the very beginning of this event. So make sure to tune in for the live stream. Click that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want notifications for when all the live streams are. Thanks again for watching. This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. Peace.